Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're coming in here with um, my first look at the new explosive chain battle here um, on Global. Uh, I mean, it's not new on JP. I like to call it new, though. It's new on Global, right? Okay, so um, I've already done my runs for, like, uh, today and yesterday, basically. Um, and I am at top 1%. We can see kind of the high scores everybody's getting right now. We're starting to crack into, like, the, those upper 170s. Not quite as high as I thought people would be able to get on Global here. Um, but we're starting to see these 173s pop up. So uh, if you're not sure what you want to be bringing... You know, this guy's got a whale set up where he's got two LR Bardocks. Th this is technically the best um, scenario. Technically, the best is to have both of these easy aid as well. Um, personally, I only have one of them easy aid, but I am using a very similar setup. Um, and then down here, you want the three... Well, this guy actually has this Vegeta. I think you want the three grade 8 Vegetas. So you want, like, this grade 8 Vegeta, this grade 8 Vegeta, and then this grade 8 Vegeta's SSR. And then you want the three King Vegetas was what you want here. Um, so let's see. Let's just kind of see what everybody else is there. That's that one. Let me refresh it and see what else we get. See if we can get a higher score other than that 173. We got Goldo here. He is at, or Goldo is at, uh, yeah. Okay. So he actually has this physical Vegeta too. Anyway. Um, and then like just looking here, they have the LR Bardock. This is, yeah. And then they just have like these free to play or is this the tech one? Okay, this is the grade 8 Bardock. This is the free-to-play one. This is the LR Team Bardock. That's the uh, TUR of this Bardock. And then this is the summonable one. So you can kind of get an idea here for what people are shooting. Oh, there's a 176. Oh, they had Raditz there. Interesting. But yeah, you can see all... Oh, this one only had two King Vegetas as well. Interesting, interesting. Um, but you can kind of see the uh, common theme there. So I just used a stone to refresh uh, my stamina. I try to get as many runs into chain battle as I can during the period because, um, it, you know, the more runs you get, the more equipment you get. So I actually haven't spent any of my equipment yet. I have, I think I've done all of the missions. If not all of them, I've done like close. I have 1 billion points or whatever. So we're getting close. Oh, let me, I was doing a meme run just to uh, get it, get it out of the way. Okay. Uh, this is my easy aid one. Yeah. So we've got him. Let's see what we have. Oh, this looks really good. We got the LR Bardock, the TUR Bardock, the Grade 8 Bardock. We got the STR Bardock, the AGL Bardock, and the Dokkan Fest. What's the Dokkan Fest at? Oh, this is the Dokkan Fest SSR. Hmm. That's still not bad, though. Let's go ahead and grab that. Yeah, that's really good. 55, 234. Uh, by the way, there's like a little sound cue. So, like, if I switch to the Sarah right here, notice how it, like, went. And then whenever I click on Oni, it goes. Like, it's happy. You guys hear that? Um, actually, let, let me turn it up a little bit more. So what that sound cue actually is, is that actually indicates, like, which one is going to give you, like, higher, um, like, connectors, like these totals. It's so, like, you can see this is 55, 234. If I switch, it goes to... Um, 52, 3, 35. So what is that? That's uh, 55 plus 35 is, oh, don't tell me, 90. And if I switch back up, this is uh, 91, right? 36 and 50. So yeah, this is like slightly better than the other one. So that's why if, you, if you're if you like me and you're a boomer and you start seeing all these bright colors, um, <laughs> that's, that's like an easy way to tell apart. Let's just see if I can't get any better setups. I think that is probably going to be the best one, but just like double checking, doing my due gil due diligence here. Ooh, what's what do we got going on here? This is not bad. Got the Grade Eight Bardock. We got the Dokkan Fest Bardock. Fifty-five percent. I think I'm going to stick with the one that I have here, but if we do another run, I might try this one right here, assuming it doesn't reset by the time I get done. Then let's see what we have in terms of the extreme supports. Uh, that's not horrible, but I would have liked both of the Rainbow King Vegetas. Um, what else do we have? Oh, that's all three King Vegetas. Oh, but I don't want the Butoden Vegeta. No, I don't want that. Hmm. I'm going to pick this for now. I, I think this is a thing, by the way. I can't confirm this, but I think once you select your connector here... Whenever you start updating your supports, it tries to give you uh, connectors like more related, like that'll give you more points with that connector, I think. I don't know if that's actually true, though, but I've heard that um, like on Reddit and Twitter and stuff. Man, 
that would be a really good setup if it didn't have the Butoden Vegeta. Hmm. Let's see, what is the multiplier here? 46, 21. Versus, oh, 51, 21. Yeah, I guess we're going to do this. Wait, what was I comparing it between? I must just be insane. I don't know. Okay, well, uh, we're going to switch to this setup right here, I think. Right? Interesting. Okay. Um. Wait. Yeah, that one is better. Hmm. Just going to double check, make sure. I, I'm taking way too long doing this. Sorry. I, this, this is chain battle, right? You just sit here looking going, huh, is there a slightly better one that will get me a higher score? But, I mean, it really doesn't matter. Let's just hop in. Okay, so once you get past all that, <laughs> that was five minutes of me going, hmm, hmm, oh, hmm, maybe. But, um, you know, it's like I'm trying to get a new high score here for the people, you know? I want, I want to get, like, a really good score, so. All right, let's see what we can get. All right, I'm going to use the technique. There we go. Um, what can we get? We can't get three Vegetas, so we're going to go for the three Bardocks. We're going to go for the physical Bardock, both physical Bardocks, and then the AGL Bardock. There we go. Let's see what this gets us. All right, we're going to fight Frieza here. We're, we're going to swarm them, all three Friezas, and then we're going to charge up. We got the nice gomp sound effect in there. All right, full power blast with this nice 1994 uh, super attack animation here. It, I wish they would go through like a lot of these old animations that have black backgrounds and put in like some sort of like planet or like space. Also, 157, not bad. That's uh, not my high score, but that, I think that's still enough to get top 1%. So, I mean, that's definitely good, right? Oh, we can go ahead and do another run. That's good. Let's see. Uh, we did reset supporters, so... Um, Let's just try, like, a free-to-play friendly setup here. Okay, so instead of this Bardock, let's use... Again, this is going to be, like, a free-to-play friendly setup. So we're going to use this Bardock instead, completely free-to-play. Okay. Uh, we'll bring this one right here. And as far as free-to-play units... I mean, really, listen, I kind of want to bring this guy, but we can't. We can't bring him. Because we're, we're trying to do free-to-play. I guess we're going to do free-to-play... I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not trying to grind up my high score today. We got six whole days left of this event. Free to play, free to play. Who's the free to play one? This one. Does he have higher stats than the STR one? 17, 12, 7. 10, 14, 12. Let's see. What is the average of that? Oh, goodness. I have to do math now. <laughs> oh, let me get Excel. Hang on. Uh, I'm getting Excel out. Okay, so we've got 10, 7, 8, 8. Four, twelve, three, eight, six. Yep. Okay, so that's thirty-seven divided by three. So that's an average of twelve thousand four hundred and twenty-two. Twelve four twenty-two. Um, what's this guy? Uh, seventeen one thirty-four. Nine oh four. Eight eight four. Twelve six forty. So that's 12, 640 versus... 12. So this guy actually is higher, this AGL one. Okay, so we'll bring him. And, yep. Okay, so that's our free-to-play option there. And then for this, what do we want? I'm going to use King Vegeta, so I guess let's do this. And we'll bring the King Vegeta as our connector. Just make sure there's not a slightly better option. Double checking, double checking. All right, so this is a completely free to play setup. Everybody like watching this video, you should have the chance to do this. You can you can build this exact same setup. This is a free to play unit. This is a free to play unit. This is a free to play unit. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's see where we get. I can't promise this will be top one percent. We're also not using like the best setup, you know, because we just used it on the last run. But I mean, this should still be decent points, right? I guarantee you, this will be enough to at least get all of the. Uh, like the basic missions done, like to get 100 million points. This will for sure get that. The question is, how many of them is it going to get? Okay, um. We can get the three Bardocks again. Oh, please, there we go. Nah, close enough. 
I don't, I, I, we got four Bardocks. I don't know that it really matters which ones that we pick between them. Just so long as they were, like, all awakened. Because I think they all have Shattering the Limit. The only one that doesn't is the Tech Dokon Fest Bardock. I believe. So, alright. Let's see what we get here. Hundred twenty nine million, nice. Uh, that's probably enough for maybe top ten percent. I don't know. I think the scores have been pretty high on this, so I mean, but that's. Uh, I think most players what they should shoot for is getting all of the uh, missions done. Like if you just get all of these done, you're still going to get a ton of rewards. So be sure to just shoot for this, like uh, that that free to play setup. And you know the chances that you have like a summonable unit, like if you have a grade eight Vegeta or something, uh, the chances that you get a higher score are pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna do. I may. We'll do. We'll do like a couple little equipment pulls at the end. Of it, but I think I'm gonna try to save them for the end and do uh, like big equipment pulls there. But you know, let's go ahead and end the video. We can do some. Oh right, I have to get a special treasure chest or secret, secret treasure chest. All right. Um, here we go. Uh, we'll do. Th we'll do eight. We'll do an eight. All right. We're just gonna do this, and then I'm gonna save the rest for my big chain battle equipment opening video at the end here. All right, let's see what we get. Not bad. What do we got here? Level five crit, really good. We got this level, oh, this one. Oh, this is only a level one crit, not as good. Um, yeah, and then the rest of these are trash, so. Well, that's how we're ending the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped you out. Let me know if you're having uh, trouble in chain battle. You know, let me know what your high score is down in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next chain battle or non-chain battle video.